I don't know why he has this. I don't know why I'm about to buy it from him. <laughs> Wouldn't be hilarious if he won it back. I think there is something hanging from under the car. As any car guy, I've been constantly pondering what's the better platform to build a fun-having car in 2021. The Nissans, the Toyotas and other JDM stuff is skyrocketing in price. BMWs also come with a premium and many other brands are sort of a black horse with parts availability and stuff. At Grumblo, anytime we publish a Volvo from Sweden, it goes viral. So I thought to myself, there has to be something to that. So in this series, we are going to purchase a cheap turbo brick Volvo. We are going to modify it and then we are going to give it away to one of you guys. So click the subscribe button and stay tuned for the series. This is Markus from Grumblo. We are all about pure car sounds and in this episode we are going to buy a Volvo. Everyone knows a Volvo when they see one. From a really badass drifter guy. I'm on a mission to prove that a Volvo can actually be a good fun rear-wheel drive car. But first I have to find one and buy one and make it back home. After three hours on the road, we finally arrived at the address Janne had sent us. We arrived there to see them reversing rally cars out from the garage, so we knew we were definitely in the right place. We had no idea though what the condition of the Volvo was going to be like, so we were full of anticipation to check it out. This guy is like one of the most badass pro drifters in Finland. I don't know why he has this. I don't know why I'm about to buy it from him. Will it make it? I don't know. <laughs> you, you have to try it. Someone's gonna drive it home. Long term. Me? <laughs> With this guy? It was quite hilarious when you contacted me that, hey, you have the Volvo. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you want it? <laughs> yeah, so just for context, we go ways back. Like, we have been together in the drifting scene since yeah, like... Yeah, 2008, 2009, yeah. something like that. Uh, I've been a race engineer for him, we've been to many a road trip together, so we go ways back. Insert some clips of him driving right here. We can, we can go to the Grumblo archives. He's won at Riga, for example, in the North European Championship, so like, I'm not just saying he's badass because he's right here. <laughs> Give us the tour. <laughs> Oh boy, we have graphics and everything going yeah, on here. Yeah. I didn't see this in the pictures. That's a bonus. Yeah. Maybe you can buy some extra. No, pay some extra. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to pay anything extra. You've ripped me off already. We have some aftermarket silicone here. Yeah. We have an aftermarket filter. Yeah. It's a performance model. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a good price from them. <laughs> Let's see inside. Yeah. We have half leather interior, almost in mint condition. Yeah. yeah. How much is it boosting? I think it's somewhere around one bar. So scary. Yeah, it's it's too much. <laughs> How much is the standard boost? Like 0.5? 0.5, yeah. 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 We have doubled the boost from standard. Yeah. Nothing else has been touched. I don't know if I dare to make a donut with this thing. If you want to go home, don't do it. <laughs> Until you're at home. <laughs> you already broke it once, no? Yeah, yeah. 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 We yeah. have both broken about the same amount of SR20 gearboxes in yeah. our lifetime, yeah. so... All of them. Yeah, <laughs> this is not a good sign. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. If he breaks the gearbox, then I'm going to break the gearbox. Yeah. Yeah. What else will break? I don't, I don't These are supposed to be unbreakable. Yeah, we have yeah, a video I on Grumblo when one of these goes through a telephone post. Yeah. They, they're <laughs> yeah. supposed to be indestructible. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are. I think the only, only weak one is the transmission. So the body is a tank and the yeah. gearbox is made of jelly. Yeah, pretty much okay. so. Janne had no idea what we were going to do with the car, so he had, he had a lot of questions about the project that we were planning. I, I'm trying to prove that you can make a fun having car that looks good. Obviously we are going with <laughs> some, some limitations <laughs> there. I want it to drive good. So we probably have to do quite a lot with the suspension and steering and I want it to sound good. Yeah, so we are going to upgrade the turbo, we are going to change the exhaust. 
if we can achieve those three goals, then one follower of Grumblo is going to win this car. So I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to get it as far from me as possible as soon as it's like <laughs> these three criteria are fulfilled. Yeah. So that's that's what we are going for here. Yeah, that's cool. I think I'm going to participate in the competition. To win it back. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hilarious if he won it back? Janne also wanted to participate in the giveaway and win his car back. So should you. Let's go look at the cadet and take yeah. this for a drive then. Yeah. What have I done? This is so stupid. It's a blacktop SR20 from an S14. Yeah. Yep. With the standard Nissan gearbox, so I'm I'm sending him prayers for it to last for a little <laughs> bit. Are we going to stop to buy ear protection after 50 kilometers? <laughs> The drone is ridiculous, we are going to need ear protection on the drive. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank Let's take a look at what we have going on for us here. So it's a Volvo 940 from 1991, 2.3 liter turbo, single cam, uh, eight valve engine, originally producing 165 horsepower. Uh, this has doubled the boost compared to the standard car. So we are going with perhaps 200, 220 horsepower, somewhere along there. Otherwise the car has some really tasteful interior modifications like this. Uh, probably genuine dry carbon panel here. Uh, some really neat radio installation. I don't know where the head unit is. Um, we have this JDM drift inspired uh, gear shifter, tall shifter here. And uh, I think it's an, it's an auto gauge. It's not an auto meter, it's an auto gauge digital boost pressure meter that is showing that we are boosting about 0.8 of a bar on, on full tilt. Yeah, the dashboard is rattling like crazy. Uh, I'm trying to keep an eye on the heat. Uh, I filled the tank all the way up. Race fuel, it doesn't smell like it would be leaking fuel from anywhere. And uh, see how far we get before we have to do some checkups. I think there is something hanging from under the car, or there is something very close to the ground. I, I cannot identify, identify what it is. Just got a message from our camera car behind that something's hanging underneath the car. I can also hear a strange rattle, so have to go and see what's going on there. I don't see anything visually wrong. The exhaust is hanging really, really low, but I'm quite worried of the noise that's coming from the gearbox when the car is idling like it's just the raised boost on the Volvo was definitely the sketchiest part so this raised a lot of questions about our ability to make it home we still have like two hours to go so fingers crossed crazy but I think we have something here so let's just try to make it home safe and and put it on the garage and see what comes out of it if we make it home then I give myself permission to be excited 